Hi. We're going to do a cow chilling. Just pop yourself up on here. And I'm just going to cover you. With this beautiful quilt. More quilts that my mother made. Very keen quilter she was. So just get comfortable now. If you need to, we'll put a rolled up towel under your legs, under your knees, just to raise them a little bit. Get really comfortable. If you can, lie on your back. But if you want to lie on your side or your tummy, that's all right too. So, just relax while I scan down your body, taking a sigh in and sighing out any stresses, strains, anxiety or trauma from the last week. Breathe deeply all the way down into your abdomen and relax, relax. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. And I'm just going to scan once more. Okay. Relax. Relax. Placing my hand on your feet. And I like you just to start feeling really heavy, just imagine that I'm tying earth boots on you. Big heavy boots with a layer of soil and rock just to hold you down in case you float And then we ask your guides and your creator for protection, imagining a ball of golden light emerging from the heavens and surrounding you within its layer of love and light and protection. going to draw the master symbol, the Daikumio. Daikumio. Daikumio, pushing that into you and then drawing it completely. You can hear noises, it's the cat. Drawing this symbol completely down your body just to overlight the treatment. Pushing that into you now, I'm just going to show you. There we go, the master symbol floating into your aura and being absorbed by your body. There's other symbols there. We're going to use a couple of crystals today. I'm going to use 
smoky Lemurian quartz. And we're going to use the Stonehenge knife. Okay. So, relax and relax. I didn't get things ready because I never know what I'm doing until I'm here. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Just so gonna place a hand on your shoulder and dry brush down your arm to your hand. And to the other. Dry brushing down your arm. Really relaxing you firmly. Getting heavier and heavier. Really relax. Now, hand at your hip over your thigh and we're going to dry brush your legs so that they don't twitch or fidget deep relaxation is the name of this game today Thank you guys for telling me what we're doing. We're also going to bring some light therapy in, it would seem. And I'm just going to put the colours in my head, because as I said, I've had no cards out to get anything ready. And one more. I'm now going to draw the Seiheiki over you. Clearing out any unwanted emotions. Clearing out any pain. Clearing out Anything that no longer serves you, any anger in particular. Okay. And we're just going to start. Clearing out of your head, out of your mind, those thoughts where I can't do this, those thoughts where I don't want to do this, cutting away that self-doubt will do this further down the body as well and this is a double-edged knife so we're just going to clear out, clearing away any doubt that you can't hear your guides or the voice inside you. Any doubts that people are with you, that spirit has you back. Any doubts about anything, make firm decisions. Even If you are normally someone who is what we would call a ditherer, indecisive, that crab that scuttles to the left and scuttles to the right and doesn't move forward or doesn't move backwards, the procrastinators amongst you. I'm going to clear 
clear the pain out of your aura as well. So I'm going to ask the creator, the guides, for anyone in chronic pain, any pain at all, but I'm especially thinking of the fibromyalgias, the MS, the rheumatoid arthritis, the fibroids, really slicing through it. This is how I'm skinning you, but I'm skinning your aura of pain and heavy energy, lethargy, if you are lethargic all the time, I know I said deep relaxation, but deep relaxation is not lethargy, <laughs> lethargy is I can't be bothered, I don't want to do that, I haven't got the energy, we're going to clear any of that out, so that you can do these things giving you an abundance of energy and an excitement for life. And it's going over your feet and down under it. Over your feet and down under it. Now I'm just going to kneel down underneath and work on the back of your aura. Okay. This time I'm running the knife your body, so I'm at the ankles, just placing my hand on your arm, I'm at your hips and your pelvis now, up the small of your back. your shoulders, drop those shoulders, relax, relax. And now, over the top of your head again. And there we go, I'm just going to place that above you. Just going to check your energy centers. Does the crown need healing? No. Does the third eye need healing? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to place my hand either side your temples and just draw out those extra feelings, those extra thoughts. Brushing them aside, freeing your mind up, the dog might headbutt the door and come in. No, he's gone upstairs to nestle in the bed. Just gently we'll take the smoky quartz this time. I'm just gonna spiral energy out. Clearing, clearing and clearing anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Okay, and now we spiral energy back in. Imagine 
in your third eye filling up with the light from this crystal which is protected as it is a smoky Lemurian quartz. And I'm now going to hold the ridges of this crystal whilst we spiral in the barcodes of it. You are supposed to be able to hold the ridges of these crystals and download the barcodes asking for your third eye to balance and to open if it is appropriate. It is not always appropriate, remember that. Be careful what you wish for. Okay, I'm going to stop right there because I'm feeling pressure in mine. You see those lines on the side? Those are the barcodes. Okay, holding that side on. Breathe in. Soothe that in with the abalone ring, the pearl essence, the wisdom. Does the throat need healing? No. Can you define that? Are you sure it's a no? Yes, it's sure it's a no. Okay. Just send some gentle energy into the throat then. Just imagine a beautiful light blue sky. And just open your throat to the sound. You can make a sound if you wish. To the creativity. To acceptance. Breathe in hard and breathe out. Relax. Relax, well done. Does the heart need healing? Yes, okay. Right, we're going to use a different symbol this time. This is called Huncha Tse Shorten. And it is the distant healing symbol. This can go down the timelines or forward in the timelines. It can go back down to an event that you found tricky in your life that was difficult that you need healing at the heart for. It can go down the ancestral bloodlines. It can go down the ancestral behavioural patterns. And of course it can go forward in time for all of those things too. So. I'm going to draw it into you, Honsha. Zesha. Honsha. Zesha. Honsha. Zesha. And I'm now going to draw that at the heart. Honsha. If you're lying down, that is draw them twice because of course you're watching on the screen but you're also projecting your body to lying on the couch okay really gonna clear I'm going to ask Archangel Michael and his legion of angels to come in and I'm going to ask Archangel Chumayel angel of emotions and I'm going to imagine them setting a violet flame campsite, campfire on this side and this side of you. And I'm going to dip the point of this knife in, heating it up nicely. 
And I want you to think back to any of those chords and desires that are not healthy for you or that were not healthy for you. And with your permission, if you don't give permission, just say, I don't give permission and it won't work on you. We are going to slice through and then I'm going to quarterize. So we're gonna singe singe it so it doesn't grow back putting my knife into the violet flame again I'm going to move up for you who are looking at the screen we're going to slice through and then we're going to quarterize now underneath reaching underneath Putting my knife into the violet flame and cutting the bonds at the back of you and now quarterizing. You may feel a slight burning on the back of your heart chakra. And now again. So I'm dipping my knife into the hot cool sensation, tingling sensation of the violet flame which transmutes negative energy into positive energy. And then we're going to move over the back of your heart if you're sitting up now. Cutting and quarterizing, so singeing those cords not of the creator's desire. I'm going to soothe with my rings so that these strange glues do not grow back. Placing my rings top and behind, just soothing. And it might be upsetting to cut these ties. Sometimes we want what is not healthy for us. And I'm going to ask that this work on addictions as well, addictions of the heart, addictions of the mind, and addictions of the body. Draw that clearance. I key in and if you see me doing it back to front it's because they show up this way in the picture but we draw it the other way but it has that essence okay now I am literally going to place this green opal on your chest now this is what they used to do with old witches and druids. They used to send them off to a tomb or a dark room to lie with a stone on their chest and to use their mind all night. Okay. Let's have a look at the solar plexus. Does that need healing? Yes, it does. Okay, so we draw in the Seiheiki. any of the doubts you have about not being good enough. You are good enough. The self-sabotaging that many of us do. Oh, I need to wrap it up, okay. Those comments at recess that these other kids teased you with, we're taking all of that out. And if you are someone who did that to someone, just apologize in your head and your heart now. I'm sure you've grown out of it and stopped the playground antics. 
<laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the choke array in. And I'm going to take the Lemurian holding those light codes. And sending it into your solar plexus. Just feel beautiful yellow energy. Let's send the energy of the rose in. That beautiful energy. This has come from Mary Magdalene's altar. So it has been prayed over, it has been used in ritual healing because I did a ritual healing of Mary Magdalene yesterday spiralling those energies and those light codes in. Now let's move up to the screen, let's draw the chokere in. That is the symbol that looks like that. Bringing in those light codes of confidence, of knowing that I am center within you. And still dripping with water this, but I want to show you how beautiful this rose is. And I'm actually going to reach over there now and get the pink rose for you to put on your heart. In your higher heart. For your higher heart from the Magdalena. I'll pop that there too. All right. So solar plexus to balance, yes, okay. So we're moving down to this abdomen now and I'm going to take some shells out. Okay. Tiger cowries, although I have been informed that tiger just means big cat. So we're gonna call these big cat cowries because they're leopards to me, aren't they, or jaguar? Okay, so how do these work? Around the world, the cowrie is a symbol of fertility because it looks like female genitalia. They are also abundance. They were used as currency, small ones. We are gonna pull any pain out. Those fibroids that might hurt you. Any of the period pains that a lot of females get, the ovulation pains. Any blockages in the ovaries if you're trying to conceive. And I cannot stress enough that if you are trying to conceive, you really watch your diet. Especially if you have eating disorders, you need to get yourself well first. The body is not going to let you create until you have sought help and tried to get over it. Managing it yourself does not work very well. Okay. Pulling that pain out. And the shells will actually be heavier. Let's move to the hips now. If you suffer from hip pain, I'm just going to draw that say hey key symbol. Printing that in. 
Let's draw that clearance symbol into your abdomen. Let that work until I get up there. Pulling out that pain. Pulling out that pressure. Moving, you can feel it at the sides of you. So I'm reaching round, I'm at the back of your aura now as I'm doing this. Pulling. I feel like I want to go underneath. Okay, ready? And pulling that pain out, that pressure. Maybe you have kidney issues. If you have kidney or liver issues, focus on fir trees. Douglas fir, Scots pine, because they emit a blue energy, which is good for the liver especially. If your kidneys are bad, rub your adrenals, which are in the back of you. Warm them up so that the urine doesn't stay in the kidneys so long. The tai Chi teacher used to get us doing that each winter at warm up. Here's your adrenals. You're giving them a rub for about four minutes. Pulling out that pain from the hip. Pulling out that pain from the fibroids. Pulling out that pains from emotional turmoil. Pulling out that pain from anything around the sacral area. Just put them there for a minute. Have we removed all the negative energy? Okay, can I replace now? Yes, okay. Chokere. Chokere. That's into the sacral. This is into both hips. Chokra. This is into the ovaries. Chokra. If you're conceiving. Chokra. To the hips. Chokra. Into ovaries, chokore, into the sacral or into the womb. Okay, placing hands on the hips. Take a breath in and breathe out. under. Place a hand at the small of your back, sending energy in from both sides. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment and nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Relax. Relax. Is this balance now? Yes. Okay, down to the root. Now, the root is right underneath you, okay? When you clench your pelvic floor, men can do this too, clench that muscle underneath. That is 
the root chakra, the Mulhadhara chakra. So we can't touch people in this area, so we place a hand between the knees. And I'm going to draw that say hey key symbol in the horse's head one. And then we just start throwing away. I'm just going to ask the violet flame just to spread around the table. I'm not going to throw it onto my sitar <laughs> at the bottom there. As the violet flame grows around kind of like on a film set. We throw that stagnant energy from the root, the worries about your bills, the worries about your home, the worries about your survival. You will survive, even if it's a difficult road. You will make it, you will survive. Spiral out. And again, spiraling out. And the third time, spiraling out. Now we use the knife. Put it in there, fire. And snip and cauterize. Any cords, any ties, not of the creator's desire. Okay. And now spiraling out again with the, the granite knife, the Priscelli blue stone. Same stone as Stonehenge from the same quarry. Some of you will remember the other knife I had with the hole in it. Well, I broke the tip, so that is just a cleansing tool now. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to lay these between your ankles, pointing upright into the Mulhadhara, into the root. And I'm now going to draw this chokre. Double-handed chokre to make it stronger. Okay. So. Let's scan you again. Just to make sure I'm happy with everything. And as you're just feeling at the root chakra, the energy coming in, just imagine now beautiful red colours of sunset with red jasper being channeled into Okay, so I'm now just going to place my hands on your shoulders, resting on you, grounding you again. Remember those earth boots that we put on right at the beginning. And know that you are loved and you are protected. Peace above you, peace below you, and peace all around you. Take a breath in and breathe out, knowing you have been reinvigorated, relaxed, renewed, and hopefully cut off from those addictions, however big, however small or insignificant they feel in the grand scheme of things. Just placing my hands on your hands now and saying thank you for
for watching. Love and light.